My name is Sylvia Faye Patterson, and welcome to My World in Little Rock, Arkansas, 1957. I don't quite understand segregation. People are just cruel sometimes. I mean, just today, Mr. Crandall's dog attacked my sister Donna Jean. He trained them to do that. I don't get it. He said we would have to pay if the dog got hurt. Really? The dog? I mean, I would think my sister was more important than a dog. My big brother Gary was outraged to hear what had happened to Donna Jean. He's angry all the time. It scares me. I'm always worried that he's going to get himself into trouble somehow. He doesn't understand that you can't always fight through everything. He thinks my parents spend too much time praying and not enough time taking action. Sometimes I think he's crazy. Other times, I think he's right. My teacher, Miss Washington, told us today that integration will be starting soon. They want to integrate a few colored kids into the all-white schools. Some of us think it's weird, but that we don't want to do that because the white kids don't want us in our school. My brother Gary desperately wants to be one of the first kids, but his actions got him hurt last night. Our teacher doesn't want me to do it because she says I'm intelligent and that I can handle any situation nonviolently. I'm scared. And this makes Gary mad. He wants to be in it, and I'm not sure I do. Aside from my family, Reggie and Rachel are the two most important people in my life. Rachel is my best friend, even though she is white, and I guess Reggie is sort of my boyfriend. Rachel knows what it's like to be thought of to be different for who you are. She and her family are one of the only Jewish families in town. Reggie is really, sometimes he is really sweet and nice and calm, and other times he acts like Gary. Sometimes I don't know where he stands. Sometimes Daddy confuses me. I mean, I know he wants integration, but I think he believes that it won't happen in his lifetime. Although, when, when my teacher came and talked to him the other day, he talked about it in church. And when he's giving sermons, he never talks about us. He wants me to do it. It's good to know he supports me. I've been thinking a lot about integrating. And, um, and honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have friends from my school telling me to, that I shouldn't go. But people in my community who want it to happen telling me I should go. I don't know what to do. I mean, it's all so confusing. Is a girl supposed to integrate or stay with her friends? Make a difference or be happy? I'll never know. This decision is going to be very hard. I went to the interviews today so some people on the board for the school that's being integrated can decide if I should go. Mrs. Crandall is one of them. She's the wife of the man who let his dog attack my little sister. I don't know what to do. They asked me if I had any white friends, and so I told them about Rachel Zucker. They said she didn't count just because she was Jewish. Why does religion matter the same way skin color does? I'll never understand the way these people think. I guess... But they seem to like me, so hopefully that means good news. Today was a disaster. I took my little sister Donna Jean to the library, and on our way back, some kids that go to Central harassed us. They threw our books in the mud, pushed Donna Jean down, and they slapped me. I told Reggie, and he was extremely mad. He says they are not going to get away with that. I worry, though. He's been hanging out with Gary and a bunch of his friends lately. I'm worried they're planning something. They scare me. And I don't know what to do. Is this what's going to happen every day if I go to Central? 
I have never been more scared in my life than what happened today. I was at the grocery store when all of a sudden it sounded like someone dropped a bowling ball and everything went up in flames. I barely got out and I got Rachel out too, but I was so scared. All I could see were people's feet. I saw Mr. Crandall and I told the police that. And when they found out that he didn't do it, which I never accused him of, they said they threatened to arrest me for accusing an innocent man. I don't know what to do. And I saw something that scares me so much that I don't want to tell the police. But I'm going to tell my parents, I think. I told my parents everything. That, the, that I saw the person who dropped the bomb. Reggie. He came and he confessed and I was so sad. I loved him. But he agreed to go out of town, get a job, and give his paychecks to the Zuckers, whose grocery store burned down, and Miss Lily, whose flower shop burned down. I'll, I'll be sad without him, but it's better than him being imprisoned and going to trial against people who already dislike him because of his skin color. I think I'm ready to make up my mind. I've decided I'm not going to integrate. It'll be too much pressure, and with everything that's happened, I just can't deal with it. Only nine kids remain on the list, and I feel for them. They're brave, braver than I. I don't know how they're going to do it, but it will be incredible, I can tell you that. The lady who's been helping us understood and said that she wasn't going to force me to do anything I didn't want to. My parents wanted me to integrate, but they respect my decision, and they know that, it's what, that I want to be safe, and they want me to be safe. I feel like I made the right choice. I will, be, I will belong at Mann, and I will feel safe at Mann High School. I had a good day today on the first day of school, although the nine kids that are integrating did not. The governor called the National Guard, and they blocked them out of the school. Poor Elizabeth, one of Donna Jean's friends, who's eight, was the only one who tried to go in the front door, and she was humiliated. But she held herself together. They did not let her in. Let's hope that this happens soon, or else they will never get to go to school. It happened! It finally happened! Our president sent some police to help make sure they were integrated. They didn't go through the side door or the back door. They went right in the front door and straight into their classes. Rachel said that she has them in some of her classes, and she treats them just like she would anyone else. They had some people on TV talking about it. They wanted them to say bad things, but when they asked Rachel, she said she was glad it was happening. They didn't like that very much. Who knows? Maybe someday we will all get to go to the same school as equals. It would be amazing. But for now, this is the biggest step in integration in our little community ever.